Have you ever wondered how airplanes, those massive machines, fly? It's a marvel of modern engineering, isn't it? Today we're diving into the fascinating world of aviation, exploring the four fundamental forces that make flight achievable. Lift, thrust, gravity and drag each plays a crucial role working in harmony to defy the Earth's hold and allow these behemoths to soar through the sky. In the next few minutes we will break down these forces one by one to understand how they work together to make flight possible. First up, we have lift, the force that counters gravity. It's a captivating phenomenon, really. Lift is an upward force created by the air that flows around an airplane wing. The shape of the wing, or as we call it in the aviation world, the airfoil, plays a significant role in generating lift. The airfoil's design is cunningly asymmetrical with the top surface curving more than the bottom. When the airplane moves, the air splits at the wing's leading edge. The air traveling over the top has a longer path, which means it moves faster than the air beneath the wing. This speed difference leads to a fascinating event. According to Bernoulli's principle, the pressure decreases as the speed of the fluid increases. Thus, the faster moving air over the wing exerts less pressure than the slower air beneath. This pressure difference creates the upward force we know as lift. So lift is the force that propels the airplane upwards, counteracting gravity. But what about moving forward? This is where thrust comes into play. A force that's all about movement and momentum. Thrust is the push that moves an airplane forward. It's a classic example of Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So how does an airplane achieve thrust? It's all down to those powerful engines. In a jet engine, for instance, air is sucked in at the front, compressed by a series of fan blades, heated by burning fuel and then expelled out the back. This rapid expulsion of hot air creates a forceful push in the opposite direction. Voila, that's thrust. This force propels the airplane forward, cutting through the air. But it's not just about raw power. The amount of thrust needed depends on factors like the plane's size, weight and design. Thrust propels the airplane forward, but there are still two more forces at work. Let's delve deeper. Gravity and drag, two forces that seem to work against flight. Let's delve into this a bit. First up, gravity. It's a force that's everywhere. It's what keeps us firmly planted on the ground. For an airplane, gravity is a consistent force that pulls it towards the Earth. This downward force is something that the airplane must constantly counteract, and this is where lift comes into play. Lift, as we discussed earlier, pushes the airplane upwards, working in opposition to gravity. Now, let's talk about drag. It's a bit like trying to walk through water. The water resists your movement, right? In the same way, drag is the resistance that air gives to the airplane. It opposes thrust, the force that propels the airplane forward. The more the drag, the more thrust is needed to keep the airplane moving at the same speed. Airplanes are cleverly designed to minimize this drag. They have streamlined shapes, smooth surfaces and sharp edges. Think about it, the nose and wings of an airplane are not blocky or square, they're curved and sleek. That's not just for aesthetics, it's to cut through the air more efficiently, reducing drag. So, you see, while it may seem like gravity and drag are the villains of the story, they're not. They're just part of the natural forces that exist in our world. While gravity pulls the airplane down and drag slows it down, lift and thrust work to counter these forces, making flight possible. So, how do these four forces work together to allow an airplane to fly? Let's revisit our key points. Lift, created by the air flowing faster over the top of the wing, counters the force of gravity pulling the airplane down. The higher pressure beneath the wing, coupled with the lower pressure above it, creates lift, propelling the aircraft upwards. Thrust, generated by the engines, propels the airplane forward, overcoming the force of drag. This drag is the air resistance experienced by the aircraft as it moves through the sky. The thrust must be greater than the drag for the airplane to continue moving forward. Gravity, meanwhile, constantly pulls the airplane towards the Earth. This downward force is balanced by the lift, keeping the airplane airborne. So these four forces, lift, thrust, gravity and drag, exist in delicate balance. When they are perfectly aligned, they make the marvel of flight possible. And that, in a nutshell, is how airplanes defy gravity and take to the skies. Fascinating, isn't it? 